Hi guys, how's all doing? It's Chris from Max Morphs here. Uh, I don't even know where to start here, guys. Um, for uh, everybody in the community who's been watching the Brian Barcheck video, um, the things the guy's saying on it, it's it's actually quite sad to be honest. A guy, he has stature in the reptile community, having the thoughts in his head, but. It's just one of the things, guys. It's horrible. It's horrible, especially in a community like ours. The, the way I see it, the, again, I'm just new in the community. I've joined it, and all I've seen is positivity along the way. People helping. Obviously, when you go on a wider scale of things, as Brian Barcheck is, you're going to get the haters and the dislikes. And but haters and dislikes are one thing, but. Actually bullying somebody is as bad as that. Making up lies, blatant lies. And I mean on, on the internet you're obviously you're going to get your thumbs down in your videos and you'll get your odd cheeky comment. <clears throat> but actually to go out your way and set up Facebook pages and constantly lambasting one guy because it probably a bit of jealousy. Um, is pathetic if you ask me. Actual, actually pathetic, and that's not saying everybody's pathetic. That's got something against Brian Barcheck. I'm not saying that. I know people from both ends of the scale that's got issues with Brian Barcheck and guys that love him. So, and the guy, the guys that I know that have got an issue with him, it's been something along the lines of getting stuff off him and. It's not been what they thought it was or something, I, I'm not sure. Again, that's only their side of the story. I'm hearing that. I, I don't know both sides of the story. So, in, in my life, I judge people as I meet them. So, I've never met Brian Barczyk. But what I see of him on his videos is just constant positivity. He opens doors for people just getting into the reptile community. And that, me included, I was watching Brian Barczyk a way before I even got my first snake. I got put on him when he was doing his snake bites TV's thing. Started watching the videos, thought they were awesome. Opened it, got me interested even more. And uh, and that's, that, that's I, I just see, I mean, I do believe that nobody's that positive every single day of the week, right, the, the way he is. But you think it, guys. This guy's making a daily vlog. Do you think do you think that anybody's gonna watch his videos if he's sitting there with his face tripping them? Sitting there, oh I can't be bothered to do uh, instant instant unlike, instant unfollow. That's what'll happen to the guy. So that's why he's got to come on and be positive. Even though you may you may think it's fake, he tries to do the the positive thing and make sure everybody and everyone he's vid uh, Every video that he puts out has positivity. That's what he's trying to do. And that's why maybe people think that he's fake. I don't know. But I know one thing, guys. The guy is a pioneer in the, the reptile community. If it wasn't for Brian Barczyk, and I know a lot of people have said this in other videos, if it wasn't for Brian Barczyk, a lot of us wouldn't be here in the, the, how far we've come in the community. And he even said that in his own video. He was there at the very beginning. No, just him, other guys as well. It's been bringing snakes over for, for Africa, and uh, got the ball rolling. Got the ball rolling with ball pythons, and uh, so I think a bit of respect is shown there. And that doesn't mean that he's no, he's Teflon. Nothing can touch him. That doesn't mean that he, if he's got something, if something's went, if he's done something wrong, that he shouldn't be held accountable for it. That's no saying that. But to sit and make Facebook pages. I don't know, I don't know what what else was made up, but obviously he's getting a lawyer involved as he says in his video. It, it's not it's it's must be it must be really serious if that's the case because nobody would be going out their way to do that. Then to sit and have suicidal thoughts in your head. Uh, I, I wouldn't wish that in anybody, to tell the truth. So I just believe that this this whole situation is just going to bring us all, all closer together in the reptile community. Definitely. 
and just show each other that more bit respect, a bit more love to each other and just fuck eradicate all this all this bullshit to tell the truth. That's what it is, it's just bullshit. All we're all we're on here guys at doing is showing off our collections, trying to be positive to each other, trying to do well, trying to encourage other people, trying to teach other people. There's no need for bullying. Bullying's bullying's for the, the weak. That's what they are. There's obviously something going on in their, in their life if they need to sit at the other end of a computer bad mouthing somebody and then trying to get people in their wee clique to do the same and to me you're just a sad act if that's you in my life and if you're following that that way of thinking that you want to be bullying people that's a, 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 a motto I always state in my life my, my wee granda, God rest him, used to say it to me um, you were born an original, don't be a copy. That was his quote to me and it always stuck with me. Be original, don't copy anybody else and just do your own thing. Think for yourself, people. If you think there's something wrong, don't just go with it. Don't just go with it because everybody's laughing at one, one corner. You make your own mind up and things. And again, that's not. Uh, people might have bad issues with, with, with Brian Barczyk. But I, I seriously don't think that they're going to start bullying the guy. They maybe just contact him and try and resolve the problem that they had with him. And I, probably 99.9% of the time, Brian Barczyk would sort sort stuff out. And it's not just Brian Barczyk, there's a whole community. There's a lot of guys that's getting, getting a bit of grief off other people in this community. But I think the positivity in the community will shine through in the end. And because... That's just the way it is, guys. It is definitely. I think there's too much, too much positivity, and I, I think there's just too much light. Too, too, too. We're too, we're too good a community for it to get ruined with these idiots. That's my say on the matter. So, stop what you're doing if you're thinking about doing stuff like that. Take a minute and use your brain and think what you're doing. And these are adults that's doing these things. It's no kids. Well, it could be kids, but mostly. Adults, if you if you've seen your son doing that or your daughter bullying somebody, calling them names, picking them one person out, you would you'd be having words, do you know what I mean? And if that's you, start having words with yourself. So anyway guys, <clears throat> that's that's my views on the whole situation. It's a quite a hard one to uh, talk about. <clears throat> I wouldn't want anybody wouldn't wish that, wish that on anybody having their thoughts in their head and I hope Brian gets through it in the end and I'm sure he will I'm sure he will, he's got that much still love in the community heading his way and uh, and again it's not just Brian Barczyk, it's everybody in the community all stand strong for each other and just eradicate these idiots, that's all they are, just idiots so there you go guys, that's my side of the story so see you all later from Max Morphs, peace out